Devin Booker left last night's Suns 125-114 loss to the Pelicans in the third quarter with a right hammy strain. Now his status for game three is in doubt. The series is knotted up at one game apiece. After the game, Phoenix coach Monty Williams said, we've played without Chris Paul and Book before. If we have to play without Book, next man up. We've done that all year long. Hmm, might be easier said than done, though. Shannon, what do you think? Booker dropped 31 points against my Pels defense before he left the game. Do you think Phoenix would have won last night if Booker didn't pull that hamstring? Now, they were going to have to get Brandon Ingram under control. Brandon Ingram had 26 of his 37, Skip, in the second half. He got it going in the third and fourth, and they, they threw everything at him, Skip. I mean, I, what, do, what do you do with that? But I do believe they would have won the book because Buck had it going. He had it going, Skip, and, and I get I get uh, what Monty Williams is saying that we played all year, but there's a difference, Monty. You know this. There's a difference between the regular season and postseason basketball. Ain't nobody trying to go into the postseason without their best players. Like, hey, guys, look now. You remember, hey, we played without Chris Paul or we played without this. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, you can win a, a regular season, a couple of regular season games, maybe even 10. But you're not, you, Skip, as good as Memphis was without Ja. You think they really want to go into a playoff series without Ja? Oh, we've done it before. You're not winning. I agree. You're not winning. You're not winning without Book. I know what you've done. But there's a reason why he's he's an uh, the all-star caliber player. He's a budgeting superstar player. They're different. They, these guys don't grow on trees. And he's one of the few guys, actually, he's the only guy other than CP3 that can go get his own shot. Mm -hmm. Other than that, somebody got to facilitate for Dre Crowder, Mikael Bridges, Aiton, all those other guys. Book can get the ball and get to his spot and go get you a bucket. He also would have been another guy that can help defend on CJ and B.I. Because once those two guys got it going, Skip, they were, Phoenix was, was rendered useless. Yep. I mean, Mikael Bridges could only guard one, and whoever he wasn't guarding was giving it. And guess what? Once B.I. got it going, he didn't even, it was like Mikael Bridges wasn't even there. It was like, Skip, when these guys get it going, you can put the head, Skip, you see everybody try to put the head and try to block. Once that guy gets to that point, he can close his eyes and let it go. It's going in the basket. That's how good they are. But I do believe, Skip, the way Book had it going, Skip, I believe they won this game, Skip. I really do. I, I really do believe because Devin Booker is that dude. And it's like he's getting better and better and better. That mid-range, and Skip, you know, he wasn't the, the greatest three-point shooter, but he makes enough of them to make you. And last night, he had that three ball going. He gets that, that shot going, Skip. You're at his mercy. It's kind of like KD. If KD gets his three ball, Kyrie, these young guys, these guys get the three ball going. Yep. How you stop them? Because mm. you got to push up on them. Now they got the ability to go by you, can get all the way to the rim, or they can start and pull up from 15 to 18. But I believe they won this ball game. But they were going to have to get uh, uh they were gonna have to get BI under control because BI, BI playing out his mind. Mm. Shannon Sharp, you could be right. Book might have booked the difference in yeah, that game. it might have took him 50 to do it, but... <laughs> might have. I'm just not so sure, and I don't want to disrespect the Pelicans by saying that's a done deal that Booker means victory. Because I, I'm going to remind you, he got 31 in the first half, and then strangely, in that third quarter, all the way down to the 447 mark, he had taken one shot and missed it. Right. So he had zero points mm -hmm. in the third quarter, strangely. I, I think they were switching up defensively, and they were making him more of an object of concern. Correct. Where, where they, were, they were, again, they were just more cognizant of where he was with two people. And yet, to your point, Brandon Ingram was already taking control of the game. And remember, <laughs> on, on the play in question, I don't know if we've been showing it, I didn't really watch the monitor, right. but but on the play in question, he tried to chase down Jackson Hayes. Right. And here we go, Jackson Hayes is off to the races. That bucket made it New Orleans by three with right. 445 left in the game. You, you know, it's funny, on the, the pull, you, you can tell that it's strained. I don't know if it's pulled or right. torn because it didn't have the appearance of that. It looked right. like he just came down wrong on it, mm -hmm. and it looked more tweaked than, than bad. I mean, right. I can see it one more time. Like, like he just came down mm -hmm. wrong, and it, it grabbed. Right. But, but again, he, he didn't drag it to the bench. He no, was still no. able to walk right. along to mm -hmm. the bench. So maybe it's not as bad as it as first was right. feared. Right. But remember, he did this in the finals last year. Right. 
they they came off a big win and 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 he's hobbled right and he tried to play hobbled and i think it really hurt them in the finals it did and remember he missed eight games this year with the other uh, hamstring, hamstring pulled so he's got hamstring issues right it's almost like Steph's early ankle Ankles, issues. Yeah. He's had hamstrings. But that's an imbalance of some kind. Something's Skip, wrong. Have... Yep, I, I would agree with you. Some, something's got to get fixed. But Brandon Ingram is on the verge of emerging as a superstar I... in this league because we saw him out here with the Lakers. And LeBron, you, Skip, LeBron used to say, hey, no, he's that dude. He's like, what you mean? Wait, wait. He said, no, he's really M like that. Magic used to say he's that dude. Magic used to say, you, you got to go, man. Just just shoot the basketball. So Skip, the problem, you know what it is? He needed his team. Mm -hmm. People like, man, we should have kept B.I. B.I. wouldn't have been able to do this with LeBron and A.D. Mm -hmm. He needs his own. These guys needed their own team. He needed a team that says, okay, B.I., you the guy. Yep. You take, you get the ball, shoot as much as you want, when you want. And now you've seen it, and he's been an all-star. And like you said, I've seen far too many games like this because I saw him when he came out here to the, the Clippers. He I, did. I saw what he did to the Lakers twice. Yep. When he goes into attack mode, he, he's pretty unstoppable. Yes. Because he can swoop to the hoop, man. He go to the hoop, skip. Yeah. He got a mid-range game. It. So, Larry Nance, another former Laker, obviously, for a minute. He, he said after the game last night, now Pelican teammate, obviously, B.I.'s, he said that he told him before the game, you're the best player on the floor. Well, it's, it could be you close. Can make, you yeah. can make a case. Yeah, right. You can okay. make that case, absolutely. And then Larry Nance went on to say, B.I. is is him. He's that guy. He said, I watch guys like B.I. And, and C.J. McCollum, and sometimes it's like they're playing a different sport. They're that impressive. Well, C.J., when he gets it going, just stroking it, and he yeah. made six last night, it, it, he can be pretty unstoppable. Well, I'm, can I change my mind? I don't know if they would have won. You let a team shoot 57, 57% from the three and 55% from the floor, who the hell would go guard? He can't, he one person. I mean, Skip, you look at 13 of 21, 4 of 7, 4 of 9, 5 of 8, 7 of 18, 6 of 9, 3 of 3. I mean, is anybody going to guard anybody? Yeah, because when B.I. takes three threes and makes all three of them, Yes. and as I said, C.J. made six, and if Herbert Jones is going to give you two, Trey and then Murphy. Trey Murphy's going to give you three, and little Alvarado is going to take two and make both of them, make both of them, you're going to lose. Yes! You let team go 17 to 30 from three skills. Yep. You, you, you're probably you're asking for trouble. That's 57% from three. Can they keep that up at home in New Orleans? I, I don't they know. They probably would have won by a bigger margin than that. They had 17 turnovers. They only got up 84 shots. Yep. So allow me to say... This head coach of these New Orleans Pelicans, he is the next star coach. He is the next great coach. Yeah. Every time I watch him interviewed, he is so commanding, so calm, so in control. I like listening to Skip. I like listening to him in the huddle because I want to hear what they yeah. say. I, I want to hear, right. you know, if you're down, you're up. Yeah. What's, what's his energy like? Because the players are going to be, if you're calm, your players are going to be calm. If they feel that you're panicked, they're going to be panicked. I listen to him talk in the huddle. Like, guys, we got this. This We built for this. We he didn't said, think we, we didn't he, think we were going to be night, here. He said, yeah, we got this. Yes. Yeah, in, in the playing game. Yes. We got this. Don't, don't, don't sweat it. We got this. And they listened to him. Yes. And he, he's not spewing a bunch of phony, baloney cliches. Half these coaches in the huddle, you, you look at the face of the players, they're not even listening. Right. I think at the end, Frank Vogel. Yeah. You know, they not that they dislike. I, I think they just tune them out yep. because it's just a bunch of noise that they're hearing, mm -hmm. right? Yep. But but this Willie Green, who played for the Clippers once upon a time and played in the league, yeah. he, he is just commanding presence. He has an aura about him that I, I think this whole team is just being lifted by, like, they, they got somebody on their side who is legit. Do you believe Book plays game three? I just don't know. I don't know with hamstrings. It's the biggest they, muscle they, in the they, body. They, I, they, I, they hard, yeah, hey. I, I don't know. Because his whole thing is, Skip, is being able to drive and push, elevate, be able to stop on the, you know, that yeah. thing, when you try to stop, it grabs. It's yeah. like, okay, I'm going to stop you before you're ready to okay. stop. My gut feeling, not knowing, I don't, I'm not inside the situation, my gut feeling is no. And if he does not play, I, I, I'm going to say New Orleans does oh, yeah. win game three. Skip, New Orleans yeah. got confidence. Yeah. They the, got confidence they can beat this team. Uh, the irony is now Chris Paul is going back to his first stomping grounds because mm -hmm. he was there in the beginning, and it was kind of Chris Paul versus the world. Yes. In, in that point when he was more of an offensive player, although he has flashes of it now. 
But Skip, it just goes to show you how much goes into winning a championship. It's just not having good players. Well, it's it's just having good health. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Hey, from what I'm hearing, Chris Paul wants this more than anything he's ever wanted. He's obviously earned the the, the, the right to be yeah. here. They had by far the best record. And That's th the only this blemish is, on his resume, This is the Skip. only thing he doesn't have. And now I'm sure he's sitting someplace, like, maybe dang. watching us, shaking his head, saying, God, the injury guys just won't leave me alone. Man. Because they're it usually be picking on him, <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. It's usually <laughs> his hamstring. Yes. And now it's his running mate's hamstring. And his running mate, I made a case late in the year that he should at least be getting some MVP consideration. Yep. And now he's gone, and now they're up against – it's it's interesting with these young teams because now we see New Orleans emerging, the T-Wolves, and Memphis. They're just legit. Right. They just got players everywhere, and they're fearless. that They have arrived. And as LeBron is fading a little bit, we're, we're starting to see that, that the kids are just saying, hey, we yeah. got next. But you see these guys with these performances. You see Jalen Brunson yeah. go gets 41. 41. We, we used to see guys like that go get no 40. That was reserved for the, the, the superstar and the star players. Yep. Look, guys that's normally coming off the bench that's, in, that's inserted into a starting lineup, Skip, they don't normally go get you 40. No. We see B.I., these guys, the Anthony Edwards in his second year, go give you 36 in the playoff game. They, these guys are supremely skilled now. Mm -hmm. And supremely arrogant about it in a good way. Like, yeah. like we, we're, we're just fearless. And th these guys work on their game, Skip. You can, t you can tell the guys that work on their game. You can. I mean, you look at B.I. B.I.'s got better every oh. every single year. Skip, he had a couple of injuries, had the blood clot. Remember, he had the blood clot, he did. missed a little time, had the hamstring this year. He had a little, but he's got his body up. He's going to be thin, Skip. He's going to be bean pole. He ain't, he ain't going to be, stop trying to make him 225 <laughs> yeah, pounds. But, but 